My name is Gerald Kareem. I'm here on behalf of the UAW Region 1D. Yeah. And we are here to support you in Benton Harbor. Right. As the brother said, it could be our city next. That's right. But it is our city now. Right. This is about freedom. Yeah. This is about equality. Yeah. And this is about representation. Yeah. We have to have representation. Yeah. It's part of the democracy in this country. That's yeah. Right. Yeah. At this time, we all should be saying, ouch. ouch. We all should be saying, ouch. We all should be feeling some pain. We we all should be having common pain. So I'm glad that we're here today so that we can help build coalition, so that we can work together. It's time for us to stop having lines of demarcation about this group or that group. We all must drop those lines of demarcation and come together and fight. I believe that by us all being here today that there is a whirlwind coming. There is a wind coming that we will fight. We must fight in order to win. And we will win. We must stand up and fight. This is wrong and we know it's wrong. Governor Snyder has created a couple jobs in Michigan. Aww. And they're not talking about jobs. Yeah. The, they've created some uh, emergency financial managers. They're not talking about jobs. Let's, not, let's be very clear, brothers and sisters, that there is not a revenue problem. But there is a revenue problem. We don't have tax problems. They're changing the conversation. They're making a lot of noise, trying to fool people. It's the old game again. It's the old right-wing playbook where they put in a lot of deception out there. So let's make it clear that we are the people. We are the people. Remember that we are the people. So we will fight. I'm going to turn you over to Bob King, president of UAW. We're all here, not for ourselves, but for our kids and our grandkids. Our daughter Vern, her dad is here today because it is about our kids, right? Well, we, we are so blessed to be in America because America, for hundreds of years, has been a rule of the people, right? And what some people, some extremists, are trying to make it today is the rule of money. Right. Now, do we want rule of the people, or do we want rule of money? No. We want rule of the people. Of the people. So, let's be really clear. You've heard. All right, rule of the people. Let's be really clear. Budgets are moral documents. Those who say they believe in family values but cut out the earned income tax credit, tax pensions, on people on fixed income, want to take first 360, now almost $500 per student away from K through 12 education. That, that's not right. That's an immoral action. Now it's our job. We'll fight through the Supreme Court. We have a group. The UAW is in coalition, our legal department with about 30 or 40 great attorneys in the state of Michigan looking for constitutional grounds to fight this on. I talked to Jocelyn Benson yesterday, who has been a long-time voting rights activist, That's attorney. Right. That's right. That's right. She and many others are fighting, but let me be clear. Mm. We may win it through the court. Yeah. But that's not the battle. Right. What we, everybody standing here, is responsible for what is happening today. Because we have not been demanding a movement in America. As soon as, as soon as a social justice movement dies, politicians are pressured by the right, by the corporate, by the wealthy. And if we're not marching and rallying right. and demanding justice every day of our lives, yeah. then we're not living up to our responsibility right. for our kids and our grandkids. Right. There should be a 10,000 people out here today for what's at stake. So when you go home today, when I go home today, we're going to raise hell with our friends, our families, our neighbors, and say, if you believe in democracy, 
If you believe in the rule of the people, yes. then you have to march, right. you have to vote, right. but that's not enough. You have to march, you have to rally, you have to fight for your whole life right. for social Woo. justice. Yeah. Thank you for being here. Let's stand and fight for social justice. Thank you.